Hey guys, today we're going to be going over how to get started on Abstract. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to abs.xyz and then go to enter portal, either in the middle or the top right. And then from there, you're going to choose how you'd like to log in. Most folks are going to choose between logging in either with an email address, a Google account, or with a wallet. And know that regardless of the login method you choose, you are going to be assigned an Abstract Global Wallet or an AGW. And if that sounds confusing, don't worry about it. It's just going to be how you can interact with the chain. They've been giving out XP points each week, just depending on what you hold, how you've been using the chain. And then you also can earn badges, just some simple things like connecting your X, connecting Discord, just to uh, X the app, by the way. I'm not talking about um, your long list of, of previous lovers. I'm talking about just, uh, you know, completing some tasks as you can see just on the screen even there's an example right there that they pop up every few days and, and you can complete them and earn some badges at least at the current moment they've been iterating but again just just set your preferred login method and once there we'll move on to the next step and once you've verified your login method, you'll be given a quick introduction to the abstract portal as well as the abstract global wallet. So this is a hub that you can come to to discover apps that people have been building, some platforms either for trading, for gaming, for a whole, for a whole list of things. Um, this is where creators can stream. You need to apply to stream, but uh, this is one of the places that you can also tip streamers directly in ETH, Pengu, and a number of other things. This is where you will find the Abstract Global Wallet or the AGW. Uh, then you will also be able to trade directly from this, uh, from this page just on the Abstract chain. Most pairs, at least at the moment, you can find there. Uh, and this is also, as I mentioned earlier, where you can come and claim badges. You also track your XP that you get each week, each Tuesday, at least at the current moment. And I just wanted to mention, as I said previously, they are iterating on this and they are changing things up and, and um, all that. But it is actually at a pretty impressive pace. The very first post I ever made about Abstract was somewhat critical. And about every single one after that has been pretty dang positive. So just got to give credit where credit's due. Moving on now to the next part, we go to the Explore or skip. All right, fantastic. Now that we've made an abstract global wallet, it's time to fund it with a little bit of abstract ETH. That's because it's gonna be the gas token that enables us to perform transactions on the chain. So choose any of the three locations currently that say fund. Now, if you've never touched crypto in your life, you're probably gonna choose either Coinbase or MoonPay where you can put in your card information and send some ETH directly to the abstract global wallet. If you are sending ETH from a centralized exchange, please note there is a little nuance where it's gonna be sent on the ZK Sync era and this is a one-time use address. So if you are sending ETH from a centralized exchange, please note that there is a little bit of nuance and double and triple check that. And then most folks that I know who are gonna be uh, sending over liquidity from another chain are gonna select the top option, which is bridge, which is gonna take you directly to jumper. Now, before we go any further, just double check that the wallet that you will be sending it to is your abstract global wallet. There's no reason not to take this little extra step, just verify, make sure that that is the wallet that we'll be sending it to. Now, let's just say we are sending uh, one ETH to abstract, right? We're going to connect the wallet with the one ETH, and then we're going to select the chain that it's on. Let's say it's on Polygon. Let's say it's a wrapped ETH, right? And we're going to send that one ETH over. These, these are going to be the options that we can choose from. It's going to mention your return, uh, how long it's going to take, at least estimated, as well as the, the fee. So you can kind of mess around here and see what the best options are for you to get your liquidity over to abstract. But just note, you are going to need a little bit of ETH for transactions, like I said, that's the gas token. But note that if you are gonna be sending over, let's just say some stable coins, USDCE, um, it is a, at least in my experience, and your mileage may vary depending on when, this uh, when you're watching this video and when you go to jumper and things, but I have had a pretty solid experience just uh, bridging over stable coins. Uh, so, uh, and, and if I can wait the 15 to 20 minutes for them to bridge over, it's usually a one-to-one -one um, bridge. So I recommend guys mess around with a little bit of this to see what the best options are for you to get your liquidity over that you want to bridge over to abstract. But again, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of ETH in that abstract global wallet to pay for transactions. Cause if you bridge over all of your USDC and there's nothing to perform the transactions with, it's just going to sit there and you're probably going to have to ask a friend or something to send you a little bit of uh, a little bit of abstract ETH over. And let's just say you do need to do that. You can come here and either copy this or you can click fund again 
and hit deposit funds manually and it'll just be a reminder this is ETH sent directly on the abstract network copy the address or from here so the last thing that i so hopefully by now you have your abstract global wallet it's funded with a little bit of gas and you're you've taken the steps to uh, gas being the abstract eth and have taken the steps to uh you know if you need to bridge any more liquidity over or see how that goes and the last thing i'll note is if you want to send just a small test transaction over to see if it goes through or whatnot it's usually not a bad option um depending on fees and depending on how quickly you need to move and all that good stuff but the the last thing i'll note uh, is if you want to choose a username, for example, go to edit profile. Um, I really like this wallet that they made because at the end it says a fed. So we'll just for, for, for purposes, we will, uh, we'll use that. We'll see if it's, we'll see if it, if it works and, um, a fed works. So whenever, if you guys ever see this, this is the wallet that was made during this video. And, uh, yeah, I hope this, uh, enabled you to be able to get onto abstract, make an abstract global wallet. Because frankly, I, I think we're just getting started. We're only a couple months in. And uh, yeah, again, this is not financial advice. This is for information and demonstrational purposes. If you found the video helpful, please throw it a like. Please throw a comment if you would like me to walk through all the little nuances here. Um, I used to actually do that for DeFi protocols and, and NFT projects and platforms and things like that. So, so thank you guys. And I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Cheers.